So it's powerful to me that in, in times of like, when you're not sure, like, are you the guy? Are you the Messiah I thought you'd be? Which happens sometimes when you don't get the promotion or when the kid you really poured your life into doesn't turn around. Are you the guy? And we could be finding ourselves falling into a transactional relationship with the Lord. So Jesus sends him testimonies. We're, we love testimonies. We're a testimony culture. Apparently Jesus is too. Because he said, you know what John needs? John needs some testimonies. <laughs> John's like, I need to go to jail. I was like, well, yeah, you need some testimonies. <laughs> and then Jesus gives him this real firm. This is where that hidden beatitude. Remember, happy are or blessed are. There's one hidden here that's not with the other beatitudes. Only it's, we might not like it as much. Here it is. This is out of the NIV 1984 version. I'll give you a couple other ones as well. He says, um, blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. Blessed is the man who is not offended by me. Blessed is the man who does not stumble because of me. It's the, it's the Greek word. I can, I'm not going to pronounce it right, but scandalizo or scandalizo. And uh, it's, we probably get our word scandalous. Blessed is he who's not scandalized by me, the sort of Messiah I am. So you have Jesus coaching up John with good news, but also with like, John, um, I'm going to be the Messiah I need to be and do the things I need to do. And happy is the man who does not get offended by how I, God the Son, do my ministry. It's like, it's like, it's like a hug and in his ear, he's like, get back out there, John. <laughs> <You> know, <it's> like <laughs> he gives truth. He just gives you know, clear, straightforward truth and so he testimonies, and then he kind of says, hey, listen, let me just give you some straight dose of truth. Blessed is a guy who doesn't try to make me the sort of Messiah you think I need to be. 